Good morning, everyone. Welcome again to the Philippine Guidance and Counseling Association webinar series. And uh, we're back after three weeks of, uh, somehow three weeks, na hindi po tayo nagkita. And uh, for this uh, month of July, we will be having three webinars. And uh, this will be the first uh, of uh, uh, the three webinars this month of July. Uh, so this morning, we will uh, be discussing about uh, maintaining positivity, uh, positivity amidst COVID-19 by uh, Doc Carolina Unoraico of the Philippine Mental Health Association. But before we formally start, uh, may I request everyone to join me in this uh, period of uh, silence and uh, meditation as we uh, gather in prayer.
Okay, good morning once again. And uh, uh, right now we have about 2,600 viewers from our uh, YouTube uh, channel, uh, PGCA Philippine Counselor. And uh, please don't forget to share this uh, YouTube link so that uh, uh, our general public can, can also view uh, this uh, topic, maintaining positivity amidst COVID-19. But before we start, uh, especially those who are uh, new to this uh, webinar, uh, we are the Philippine Guidance and Counseling Association. So we have this webinar series as uh, our commitment for all the guidance counselors and other helping professionals to promote uh, mental health and social responsibility. So as uh, you have uh, know, that uh, the PGCA is uh, the accredited integrated professional organization of the uh, uh, Professional Regulation Commission. Uh, and uh, we are also uh, an accredited uh, continuing professional education provider. So before, we are known as the Philippine Guidance and Personnel Association. Uh, and the vision of the Philippine Guidance and Counseling Association, or PGCA, is to become the premier Philippine professional organization of counselors with international recognition. And our mission is uh, we commit to be in the forefront uh, in the development of counselors who are professional, goal-driven, committed advocates, responsive to the needs of their clientele in the promotion of their well-being to make them proactive contributors in the pursuit of a just and humane society. So before, uh, the PGCA was founded in 1964 by uh, then uh, Father Jaime uh, Bulatao. And uh, right now, uh, Archbishop Emeritus Antonio Ledesma, both uh, Jesuits from Ateneo. So they presented this idea to uh, Dr. Esperanza Limcaco of UP. And after that, because of a positive response, uh, they formed an organization together with uh, the counselors, counselor educators, and guidance supervisors. So to fulfill our vision as a uh, 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 an organization with international recognition. So in 1981, uh, PGCA became a member of the Western Region of the American Counseling Association or ACA. Uh, and uh, we are the only counseling organization in Asia that is given this privilege by the US National Counseling Association. And in 2018, the PG, PGCA further forged partnerships with uh, the Australian Counseling Association and uh, we have the mutual recognition uh, agreement with uh, Australian government. And of course, we have uh, partnerships, uh, partnership also with uh, uh, APEX or the Association of Psychotherapists and Counselors Singapore. Uh, so right now, PGCA is uh, 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 still in the process of uh, uh, forging partnerships with other uh, international uh, counseling uh, organizations. So the activities of the PGCA, uh, usually we have our uh, annual convention uh, at May. However, because of COVID-19, we have to cancel it for now. And we have also our major convention uh, held in uh, different uh, regions of uh, uh, the Philippines. Uh, but again, because of COVID-19, we have to forego it. So we have also continuing professional education programs and courses. And uh, for our viewers and for those who have registered and we will and uh, be given the certificates, please take note that this uh, webinar uh, will have uh, uh, corresponding CPE points. So we have for uh, teachers, guidance counselors, uh, psychometricians, psychologists, and even uh, social workers. So we have also research and publication. Uh, then as part of our, so, uh, our corporate social responsibility, we have this uh, uh, free webinar. And of course, partnerships. One of the uh, important partnership of uh, uh, PGCA right now is with the National Center for Mental Health. So we are helping the NCMH when it comes to their online counseling. 
And of course, as the integrated or the accredited integrated professional organization, the PGCA uh, uh, has this uh, under or under its umbrella, the different national counseling organizations. So we have PACERS, IPCAP, SCC, IOTA, FI, APECA, SIDAP, and FCGNAP incorporate. Okay. Right now, this is our, uh, these are our, okay. These are our board of directors. So uh, we have uh, our president, Dr. Adelaida Hines, and the rest of the national officers. So you can join us also in our social media accounts. Of course, uh, we have our uh, Facebook uh, page, uh, PGSA official. So we have also our Twitter account uh, at uh, official PGSA. And right now we are live via our YouTube channel, PGSA Philippine Counselor. So some friendly reminders uh, for concerns regarding certificates. Again, we have received or we are receiving numerous uh, concerns uh, in our, our Facebook uh, page. Again, if you have concerns with your certificates, please email, okay? So before we uh, formally start, I would like to introduce to you our uh, speaker. Our speaker graduated her uh, AB Psychology from the Pamantasa ng Unsod ng Maynila, and uh, she graduated cum laude. Uh, then she finished her Master's of Arts in Education major in Guidance from the University of the Philippines, Diliman, uh, with a thesis, Spirituality in Counseling, attitudes, acceptance, and comfort levels of college students and college counselors. And um, she also finished uh, her uh, PhD in clinical psychology from the University of Santo Tomas. Uh, she was uh, uh, a guidance counselor in La, La Salle Green Hills, a senior lecturer in the University of the Philippines Diliman, and currently she is the executive director of the Philippine Mental Health Association. So uh, uh, let us welcome uh, and give our hand, vir virtual hand, to our uh, speaker this morning, Dr. Carolina Uno Raiko. Good morning, Ma'am um, Carol. Good morning, Sir Francis Ray. Good morning, everyone. Um, Dr. Aida, I see her here. Uh, sino pa? Si Ma'am Ruth. And, uh, okay, sino pa nga? Um, who else are here? Di ko na masyadong makita. Okay, anyway, uh, can you hear me loud and clear? Yes, for uh, uh, the, uh, yes, okay. Well, okay. Okay, good, uh, good. Um, yeah, uh, dun lang sa introduction, gusto ko lang ding, uh, ano to, sabihin, no, that uh, I also work as a guidance counselor from uh, La Salle Green, in La Salle Green Hills and Miriam College, no. In fact, a lot of my colleagues from there are um, watching right now. Yung isa sa kanila, si John Suare, siya pa nagpaalala na meron ako ngayon na... So sabi ko, oo, oo nga pala. Anyway, so good morning everyone. Um, I'm really, really very happy to share this with you today. Uh, I am in fact very... Um, Appreciate, appreciative no, of, of PGCA's invitation. I have great admiration for, for what you do, no? even amidst the, um, the pandemic. You've been giving these free webinars, and um, 
uh, sa sa amin din no sa in our own little way the Philippine Mental Health Association has also been uh, doing this kinds of service no to uh, to the general public and then we have a program also for the frontliners no essential workers natin and um, it's very very important no to uh, whatever perspective we have at this point it has a lot to do no with how we cope with this uh, unprecedented crisis. So um, the topic for today, when Chris asked me to do this, no, uh, he actually gave me the leeway to choose what topic I wanted to discuss. And uh, I, I, without thinking so much, I said, I think this is something that everyone would, um, would need at this point, no, since it's very practical. Uh, and then he said, O medyo marami kaming mga ano ha, participants. Nung sinabi niyang marami, kala ko naman mga hundreds. E blockbuster pala. Nung <laughs> thousand, thousand na. Sabi ko, oh my God. Anyway, I hope that I'll be able to share uh, something no um, with you uh, in our one and a half to two hours uh, discussion. No? Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to make a disclaimer muna. No? Uh, Although I'm using uh, positive psychology no, as my framework here, I do not claim to be an expert in the field. No? In fact, uh, when I first saw this uh, positive psychology, I felt that I was drawn to it. I felt it resonated with me. Uh, maganda siyang mga concepts, no? uh, different from the usual psychological models that uh, we learn no, in, in school, in, in uh, the colleges and universities that I've been in. Uh, so having said that, um, siguro during the discussion, uh, if we have time or even probably during the open forum, if there are inputs no, that you'd like to share, uh, I would be more than willing to um, give the floor to you given the time. Na. And uh, if not, siguro you can share in the comment section because or in the chat box no yun yung tawag sa zoom yung sa chat box pwede niyo ilagay doon and um, okay no one has the monopoly of knowledge sa ganito mga discussions at maganda yung nagkaka uh, uh, usap usap din tayo kasi hindi na nga tayo nagkikita-kita hindi ba and i also would like to acknowledge uh, professor Bulan Butor the world health organization uh, mental health and psychosocial support interagency standing committee no and mental health PH headed by Mr. Uh, Roy Dahil Dahil. Some of the references or materials that I'll be using are from them. Nasa references sila, pero tingin ko uh, maganda rin na napapractice natin na talagang ina-acknowledge natin no? uh, yung ating mga um, pinagkukuhanan ng material whenever we give uh, lectures or webinars such as this. No? As, um, okay, so... Bago yung aking outline, um, gusto ko muna, since we're the framework, like what I said, uh, that I'll be using is positive psychology. Before we start, I want all of us, the thousands of those who are watching right now, whether you're in the comforts of your home or, or in your respective offices or somewhere else, yung iba baka nagmamaneho, minsan ginagawa ko yan, nagmamaneho, nakikinig ng webinar, multitasking ba? So I want all of us to be on the same page. So um, I know that majority of us no, are counselors here or, or mental health professionals or psychologists. Um, so maybe you uh, know of this exercise. No? Uh, in positive education, po, uh, maraming researches na yung nagsasabi na kapag nasa positive mindset ang mga estudyante before a, a lesson, they are able to absorb more no the the concepts that are being taught or by being shared by the teacher so i want us to do that at this point before we start no siguro um a couple of seconds uh, i want you to think of nothing else but yourself and that this webinar is for you and only you muna hindi mo na natin iisipin yung ibang tao. Mamaya siguro during the discussion there will be parts when uh, you'll be asked to to think of things, no? Uh, 
uh, reflect no, on, on some of the concepts. But for now, I want us, as we start, I want us to, to think of ourselves and how this will, uh, how will we benefit from this? And how do we, um, how do we do that mindset? Uh, tanggalin muna natin no? yung mga ibang iniisip natin. Ang isipin natin ngayon, ano yung maganda sa iyo, sa tingin mo, okay? And, or something, a, a positive thought, probably a loved one or a place you've been to. Uh, I want you to imagine that for a moment and uh, so that you'll have a positive mindset as we start, okay? So I'll give you a couple of seconds to do that. Okay, are we done? Sige. So positive mindset na tayo at this point. Now I'd like to give you my outline no? so you know more or less where we're going uh, during this discussion. First is that uh, we'll review some of the concepts of mental health uh, and then the impact of COVID-19 on our mental health. And then we, we move to uh, the main topic, which is maintaining positivity amidst the pandemic. So basically, I'll, I'll give a very, very, very basic introduction of uh, what positive psychology is, and then toxic positivity versus genuine positivity, and of course, the ways to maintain positivity. I hope that's all right with you. Okay. Nakakapanibago talaga. Sanay ako sa lectures, nakaharap ko yung mga tao. Ngayon, di ko man lang kayo nakikita. <laughs> <laughs> Pero okay lang <laughs> uh, para sa bayan, no? Uh, Nakakapanibago lang po. This is um, actually, you know, yung a lot of things right now uh, are causing so much stress in us because of what they're saying, yung, yung the new normal, ganyan. Pero yan naman tayo eh, laban lang. Okay? So we move on, we continue. Okay, I want to start first with the hallmarks of a mentally healthy person. Let's, uh, as I said, Let's not think of anyone else at this point. Yung kasama mo sa work o yung asawa mo, do not say, o kita mo, hindi ka mentally healthy. Huwag ganon, ha? Yung sarili natin, ang titingnan natin ngayon, okay? So what are the hallmarks of a mentally healthy person? For most of you, probably this will just be a review, but uh, let's, uh, let's go for it. Let's uh, review the characteristics of a mentally healthy person. So first and foremost, a, a mentally healthy person realizes his or her own potential. So alam yung strengths and weaknesses. So tayo ba ito? Are we aware of this? And it, it just not it does not just stop no with awareness we're we're supposed to be doing something about our strengths and uh improving on our weaknesses no so we know our strengths uh, and our own potential so that self-awareness the next one is that we can cope with the normal stresses of life so coping and resilience no yung second hallmark of a mentally healthy person and then uh the third one is productivity we can work productively and fruitfully okay so it, it's not just um doing work uh but or it's not just accomplishing something but it's being productive iba yung dalawa na yun kasi kasi pwedeng tinapos mo lang okay na pero hindi naman maganda so productive and fruitful no and then can contribute to the community in other words you just don't stop uh with yourself or with your little circle but you also try to contribute to the bigger community okay so that's volunteerism yan, yan yung mga concepts yan. this is actually uh, the definition of uh, uh, mental health no by the world health organization okay so kumusta naman tayo ngayon check ba tayo sa lahat ng ito Sige, kayo lang. Kayo lang muna yung mag-isip niyan at sumagot sa sarili niyo. In all honesty. Okay. Okay. Now, um, there's also what we call our mental health continuum. For so long, um, 
a lot of people actually are, are thinking that um, mental health is a binary concept. So what do we mean by that? Meaning to say, uh, it's either you are mentally healthy or kung hindi ka mentally healthy, sira ulo ka or may mental disorder ka. Uh, the fact is, hindi na po ganun ngayon ang, ang uh, in-advocate. No? We're reframing the concept of mental health. Uh, and uh, this is also by the Lancet Commission on Global Mental Health. Uh, they came out with a, a, a um, uh, very comprehensive article on mental health. No? Uh, I can share the material with you if you wish, because a lot of researches are, are there. And there are also um, parang mga opportunities no, for research but then that we can do or collaborate with if you wish. Okay, so our mental health continuum just means that we're not just either mentally healthy or uh, we have a mental sickness. So it's not that. So san tayo? Meron tayong tinatawag na continuum. Yun nga yung una, pwedeng asymptomatic, parang COVID, no? Meaning to say, you don't experience anything, any any stress. Um, uh, you're okay. You're well, quote unquote. No, parang you can cope. All those um, um, characteristics of a mentally healthy person. Uh, meron ka, okay. And then we have the non-specific. So when we say non-specific, ito naman yung. Uh, because of some experiences or situations that we find ourselves in, uh, kahit pa paano, naa-apektuhan no, yung capacity mo to think, uh, yung emotions mo, uh, nati-trigger. So, merong mga mangilan-ngilan na, um, um, anong tawag dito, mga pakiramdam, no? uh, symptoms, for instance, di ka makatulog, di ka makakain, pero, it does not uh, mean that you have a mental disorder, okay? So the third one would be yung full defined. Ito yung uh, medyo pumapasok ka na sa criteria. Hindi medyo, talagang pumapasok ka na sa criteria. So what are these criteria? In, in DSM, no, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, there are... Um, Siguro more than 300 kinds of mental disorders, no? Uh, ibig sabihin, pag full defined, pumapasok ka doon sa isa sa mga criteria noon. Uh, for instance, if it's clinical depression, yung, um, yung range, no? Kung gaano katagal na, yung mga symptoms, kung ilan yung nando, satisfy mo na, and it's already affecting your, um, your uh, capacity, no? To um, relate with people and you're not productive anymore. So, yun yung full defined. And then, there's also yung tinatawag na recovery. So, or the recovery, no? Ito yung mga nagkaroon, no? Pero they're trying their best to cope. They have recovered. They got treatment. They had interventions. So, yun. Okay. Now, the question is, nasan tayo dito? Okay? Siguro marami sa atin nasa non-specific na yun, ano? Um, okay. The, the uh, important thing that I'd like to share with you here is that... Uh, at any given moment, actually, no, halimbawa sa loob ng isang araw, pwedeng mag-range ka from here, sorry, ang likot ng daliri ko, from here to here. Meron din uh, yung iba, mag-full define, tapos mag-treatment, tapos pwedeng babalik sila dito. So yun, hindi siya yung parang... Um, uh, absolute no na uh, naku meron na ako na nandito na lang ako so hindi ganon uh, pwede kang pumunta from here up to here depende sa maraming maraming factors no depende sa maraming factors okay so uh, i just what what i'd like to emphasize is that um, normal sa atin no like for instance on a scale of 1 to 10 uh, pwedeng ngayong oras na to ako nasa number 8. Mamaya-maya dahil may nangyari, pwedeng number 5 kasi naapektuhan yung aking mental health because of a, a, a um, very important um, parang experience, no? 
nag-away kami ng asawa ko o um, parang hindi maganda yung nangyari sa office so things like that so our, our our mental health is affected by a lot of factors no at any given moment and um yun din at any given time then uh any person no regardless of age sex social economic status uh race um pwedeng magkaroon no pwedeng maka-develop ng uh mental disorder okay uh pwedeng non-specific pwedeng full defined okay so that's understood i hope now my question is how are we doing okay kumusta naman po tayo kumusta yung mga nagwo-work from home uh sino sa atin yung uh anong tawag dito sino sa atin yung Nung una, no, nung lockdown, di ba? Uh, when, when was it declared? March 15 or March 16, I think. Uh, and then, Dole released the guidelines na pwedeng mag-work from home, etc. Uh, sige, I'll just speak for myself. During that time, my uh, thought was, oh, okay lang yan kasi work from home. At least, di ako lalabas, dito lang ako sa bahay, makakasama ko pa yung family ko the whole day, etc. Tapos, um, yung stress ng traffic, wala, yon. And then after two weeks of um, meetings, uh, planning of what to do, meetings again, uh, directing people to do things, coordinating this and that, parang gusto mo lang, parang mas mahirap ata ito? Hindi ba? <laughs> I think for a lot of people, kasi I've been talking to people too, no? Um, uh, sa ngayon po, nag-handle din ako ng... Uh, Uh, psychotherapy cases no because talagang nag-spike up ang mga um uh, clients no uh, even doon sa online support namin so anyway ang usual concern yun nga yung work from home bakit kasi um uh, before when we uh when we had during the normal times in in the recent past we go to work uh Iwan natin yung, yung concern sa bahay, nasa, nasa office tayo, gawa ng trabaho, and then uh, pag tapos na yung, yung office hours, go home, uh, do the work at home, what's expected of us, be with our family. Now those boundaries are gone, right? Wala na yun ngayon eh. Parang uh, we cannot compartmentalize. If before we're able to compartmentalize because of the physical structure, of our uh, uh, of where we were, di ba? When you're in the office, alam mo na sa office ka. When you're when you're at home, alam mo kung anong mga gagawin mo sa bahay. Ngayon na wala yon. Uh, sobrang hirap ngayon because of the um, loss of those boundaries, right? So yun nga affected, stress tayo, no? Affected ang ating um, capacity no may may iba kaming um clients sa co-person may ibang clients nagsasabi parang uh, alam mo yon nagiging napaka-irritable sila sa bahay because uh, parang pati yung stress sa office uh, problema sa office uh, kausap na clients na sa bahay nag nag uh, uh, nag-overlap no yung mga concerns na ganun So it's it's really very difficult, no? Okay, samahan pa, samahan pa ng lumalaking number ng uh, confirmed cases natin, no? Nasa 57,545 na tayo po sa, sa ngayon, no? Uh, and then, yan, so parang... A lot of people are asking, ano bang nangyayari? Ano bang ginagawa ng gobyerno? Ano ba naman mga tao? Nakaka-stress talaga. Uh, personally, no, I feel that people have become quite complacent no, uh, about even the wearing of masks, the holding of get-togethers, ganyan. I, I, I personally experienced a uh, neighbor of ours, siguro naman wala siya dito sa, sa ilang libong nanonood. <laughs> nag 18th birthday party po sila no sa sa 
kanilang bahay at dahil maraming guests to spill over sa street and they are two houses away from us even if medyo single detached naman kitang-kita mo yung wala silang mas magkakatabi po sila and and all that stuff so i hope that siguro no tayo uh, tayo rin mismo mag-advocate continuously advocate for the um health standards no that our um, government no our leaders are telling us our uh, health experts are telling us because in the absence of this vaccine and medicine wala naman tayong panlaban talaga kundi ito so nakakatakot no ang dami kong nakakausap even members of my family who are anxious because the the cases are rising and and there are even questions about the data being presented so um yan now because of all these Kumusta naman? Um, can cope with the normal stresses of life, can work productively and fruitfully, can contribute to the community, knows the strengths and limitations. Nararamdaman pa ba natin yon? Okay. So these are the common um, emotions, no? Uh, usually negative emotions that we are feeling right now, no? A lot of us are so sad, shocked, curious, surreal. Di mo na alam kung kanino ka ba magagalit. Worried, of course. There are recurrent thoughts of um, I might contract the disease, etc. Di ba? Or uh, I might infect my, my family members because ako yung alay. Alam niyo po ba yung alay? Sila yung lumalabas para, para bumili ng, ng essentials, no? So, tired even after sleeping who among us feel that even after resting uh or sleeping for eight hours pagising parang pagod na pagod pa rin maraming ganun ngayon okay and then oversensitive so kayo po kumusta ang pakiramdam ninyo ngayon how do you feel check nga natin check natin ang ating mga feelings okay or sabi natin kanina, positive mindset. Okay, so it's normal no, at this point to feel worried, uh, anxious. Talking about your feelings actually will lessen that distress. Parang matatanggal yung bigat na nararamdaman kapag shiner. Of course, you know that. no, You, you already know that. But uh, we have to keep reminding ourselves because sometimes hindi ba yung expectation sa atin. Um, Tayo dapat yung marunong makinig. Tayo dapat yung, yung magaling sa aspeto na to kasi uh, tayo ang counselors or tayo yung um, health mental health professionals. no Pero it is very, very normal. In fact, the, those hallmarks of a mentally healthy person, it's pretty normal at this point that we don't satisfy that criteria, those criteria at this point in time. okay I will be more worried, in fact, kung kayo ay walang nararamdaman. Okay? Kasi mas, uh, mas mahirap po yun. Hindi normal. Uh, it's normal to feel this way because we are an, in an abnormal situation. Okay. Sige. Message nyo lang po ako kapag uh, medyo naputol or hindi ako narinig ha? Okay. So... Babalik tayo kay Maslow. Siguro most of you no, uh, are, are aware naman, are familiar with Maslow. For many of us, lalo na yung mga nawala ng work, ganyan, uh, mas nakakadagdag sa worry kasi nandun, silang, nandun tayo ngayon eh, sa basic needs muna, no? yung ating kailangan imit. Di ba natatandaan nyo yung nagkaroon ng um, uh, parang gulo sa may North Triangle, I think, because they were not given... Uh, or they have not received no the um ano yon yung ayuda so nag nagrally sila etc etc because yung basic needs are not met and in these crisis situations it's very important it's it's quite normal no na ang isa satisfy mo talaga eto muna at marami sa atin yung medyo nawala sa Marami sa ating mga kababayan no yung um, hindi na wala sa katinoan pero yung normal way of of um, of coping with stress nawala kasi yung basic needs mismo hindi nila maano eh hindi nila ma uh, masatisfy pa. Okay. So ang tanong ko sa inyo, nasaan tayo doon sa continuum? Where are you in the mental health continuum? Okay? 
the good news is um, we can look at our experiences. No, there's an alternative way of looking at things. Now we may feel worried, we may feel anxious, we may feel fearful, uncertain. Those are all valid, but we can all look at at that. We can all feel the, those emotions. Um, we can think of of those uh, negative thoughts, but uh, using a positive lens. Paano natin yung gagawin? Okay, dito papasok yung concept of uh, positive psychology. No? So what is positive psychology? I think meron, me, marami rin sa inyo no? yung nakakaalam na nito. Uh, just to review, positive psychology is the scientific study of happiness and human optimal functioning that will help individuals, communities, and societies to thrive. So, <clears throat> yung sabi ko sa inyo kanina, parang I, I really felt drawn to to this um, psychological model because, parang for a long time, especially during my undergrad, parang an lagging inaaral yung uh, what's wrong with a person, uh, what's wrong with the past, uh, that the reason why she's like that, like this, no, at this time is because of her past experiences. Parang parang we're doomed kapag uh, Kapag meron kang ganitong experience, ay nako, wala na. Uh, eto na, parang, parang, parang tinaningan na yung, yung capacity mo to flourish. Uh, now, positive psychology looks at the um, positive side of things. No? Of how can a person uh, achieve his, his or her maximum potentials, no? So yun, so napakaganda, magandang tingnan. And then, how can we make sense of the negative experiences that uh, we encounter in our lives? So parang fit na fit siya, no? especially for what, uh, uh, what's happening right now no? because of this pandemic, no? which is hindi lang sa atin, kundi globally nangyayari. Okay. Uh, a word of caution though, no? in... Uh, Parang nakakambal din niya recently, no? In talking about positive psychology, um, parang yung discussion about framing our experiences, no? Experiences of pain and struggles uh, from positive, from a positive lens. Nagiging parang ano rin, dumating din, no? Nandun din yung... Uh, uh, na introduce then yung concept of toxic positivity. So, ano yung toxic positivity and how can we differentiate toxic positivity from genuine positivity or I call uh, it um, healing positivity. So, ano ba yung toxic positivity naman? Toxic positivity is the idea, no? the concept that we should remain positive at all times regardless of circumstances. Because it's the only right way of dealing with things. Pag hindi, ay, wala ka na. You're called a negatron. Diba? But, is it even possible? Hindi ba? Is it even possible to be positive all the time? Hindi ba? Parang, ako nga eh. Hindi ko naman sinasabing uh, iba ako dapat. Pero, hindi ba? Kahit pa paano. We're advocating for mental health, so dapat medyo yung mga concepts na ito, we live by it, we walk the talk, etc. But I tell you, uh, there are days no, when I will wake up at the beginning of the day and feel this parang uh, throbbing in my chest na anxious na anxious na ako, hindi ko alam bakit, anong gagawin ko sa araw na to. Nangyayari po yun. So... Paano pa yung mga hindi nakakaalam ng konsepto talaga ng positive psychology o ng mindfulness, etc. Right? So, merong toxic positivity na tinatawag. So, yun nga. Pero how do we differentiate toxic positivity from uh, uh, genuine positivity? Okay. So, yung totoong positivity, it is grounded. Now, this is uh, some of these, no? I got from uh, from Professor Botor, no, I acknowledged him earlier. No? So positivity, genuine positivity is grounded. So ano ibig sabihin ng grounded? Okay, grounded means that you know that there are things that are not going well. 
Okay, you're aware of that. We know that there's COVID-19. We know that it's lethal. We know that it's highly contagious. Hindi natin dinideny, no? Na may ganon. But we don't stop with grounding. We don't stop with the knowledge. We move on and we do something about that knowledge. Okay, so paano natin masasabi na grounded yung positivity na Okay, alam ko na yun nga, nakakahawa. So magmamask ako. So mag-physical distancing ako. So um, mag-constant hand washing ako. So I'll protect my family. So within, um, within that knowledge no, that you have, pinitingnan mo doon kung ano yung mga pwede mong magawa. Okay, so that's uh, grounded. Uh, genuine positivity is also positivity that cares. So, how do we show care? No, uh, siguro sa atin counselors, no, or uh, helping professionals, or even educators. Alam na alam natin kung paano gagawin to. Ang pwedeng ulan natin gawin para maipakita that we care is through listening. Okay, so genuinely listening. Uh, sino sa atin yung naka-experience ng sige tayo na lang yung lalapit tayo sa kaibigan natin and then we will tell them that um, you know, you have this concern takot tayo, etc, etc, etc and then this friend goes ano ka ba? swerte ka nga eh meron kang ganito nagkatrabaho ka, nagsasweldo ka, etc, etc how do you feel about that? Hindi ba parang nakakainis? O baka naman nung nilapitan tayo, tayo yung ganon. You know, sometimes it's uh, also because of our great need no? to, to help them. No? Uh, I think for a lot of people, it's well-meaning naman no? yung uh, the offering of advice, yung immediately pag sinabi sa'yo kung ano yung concern, you want to... Uh, immediately reply because you know parang uh, para makatulong ako you know in in that's toxic positivity actually because a lot of times these people who come to us they don't need our advice you know they just want to be heard and to be listened to and uh, actually more than being heard it's actually yung uh, Pag narinig nila yung sarili nila, nakiklear yung kanilang utak eh. Nakiklear yung mga gusto nilang mangyari. It's like parang yung, yung smoke na, na nawawala. And you know, diba, even in counseling, ako I experienced this. Uh, client comes and then says all of these things. Ako magtatanong lang, magtatanong. And then after, magpapasalamat ng husto. So, so I, I didn't say anything. I didn't offer anything. Yeah, but, you know, when I heard myself and you asked these questions, we facilitated, you know. Uh, uh, we, we asked the right questions. Yun. Nakita niya na. Alam niya, ah, so ito pala yung gagawin ko. So sometimes, people just need to hear themselves, no? So things will be clearer for them. And uh, genuine positivity is listening. Uh, that shows them that we care. Wala pa sila sa ganong level. So, wag muna nating ipilit na tanggapin nila kung ano yung nangyayari sa buhay nila kung wala pa sila doon. Okay? And then, genuine positivity also recognizes, accepts, validates negative emotions. I also mentioned earlier, no, that um, ako mismo, no, uh, sarili ko na lang gagawin kong example. Uh, before, what I would usually do when I feel negative emotions, I try to do a lot of things because it will, um, ano to yung? It will give you a diversion, right? Uh, and then, nagiging productive ka pa. Okay, tama? Tama naman, naging productive tayo. Pero, the, the bad part of that is that we're not acknowledging that part of ourselves. Our negative emotions, our negative thoughts are also part of ourselves. Sa concept ni Carl Jung, I think tinatawag natin na shadow. Siguro mga 50% of us, uh, yung mga negative emotions, negative thoughts, etc. And then we also have that positive side of us. Okay? Pero uh, if we don't recognize or acknowledge these negative thoughts and emotions, it's like um, 
also not recognizing our humanity. Kasi part yun ang pagiging tao natin, eh, yung mga negative thoughts na yun. So what do we do? Ako personally, I do. I, I, um, yun nga, sabi ko sa inyo dati, it, it comes out some other ways. Eh. Kapag continuously you try to deny it, that you feel that way, you feel negatively, it's either nagkakasakit ako physically or nagiging irritable ako hated na ako ng lahat ng tao. Gusto mo ba yun? Hated ka ng lahat ng tao? <laughs> Parang, ayan na si Miss Obnoxious, hindi ba? So, hindi maganda. So, we recognize that. We validate that. So, how do we do that? In ourselves, you know, you just accept that feeling that um, I don't feel good today. I feel so overwhelmed. In those moments, no, that uh, I, I shared with you earlier, in those moments that I wake up in the morning and I feel parang overwhelmed na overwhelmed ako agad or anxious na anxious agad ako about some things. Um, I try to quiet down because anyway, it's early in the morning. I try to quiet down and give myself that space and acknowledge that, you know, I feel this way. I feel anxious. Kung kailangan mo umiyak, umiyak ka. I feel um, fearful. I feel that this is very uncertain. I don't know what else to do. Ang problema kasi natin o ang usual na ginagawa natin uh, pag sinabi, I don't know what to do. Nag-iisip tayo agad, hindi kailangan malaman mo kung anong gagawin, kung anong gagawin. No. You have to give yourself that time to um, clear up your head. Okay? So, acknowledge that feeling. Yung feeling ng sobrang parang nagpapanik ka, yun nga, yung parang may nakadagan sa chest mo. What I do, I do some breathing exercises. Okay? So that's also mindfulness, yung being aware of uh, the fact that kinakabahan ako, okay? Kinakabahan ako, pero you're doing the breathing. Slow breathing, ha? Kasi kapag madalas na breathing, yung mabilis na breathing, parang lalo ka namang kakabahan nun, okay? So it's also honoring that part of you that is not good. Okay, so yun. Uh, I-ano mo lang, i-ramdam mo lang. Kasi sa totoo din, or the fact is, feelings, intense feelings no, that we feel, they don't last. Meron ka bang kilala na buong araw, nervous na nervous siya ka, na, na hindi nawawala? Hindi po, nag-aano yan, parang uh, nagpipik and then mawawala. Pipik and then mawawala. So ganun yung ano natin, ganun yung yung emotions natin. So let it pass. It will pass. Surely, it will pass. Okay? And then, I, I, what I also do, apart from, from acknowledging no, and validating that, is um, tama naman, isipin mo, ano nga ba yung, ano mo yung gagawin mo? Uh, pero, hindi yung all at once. Lalo kang ma-overwhelm eh. So what do you do? Ano lang yung, yung ipaprioritize mo dun sa lahat ng ikinakakaba mo na yun? Ano yung doable at that particular point? So, ganun lang din yung ginagawa ko. Okay. And it encourages help seeking as needed. Okay. For most of us, um, alam natin no, that uh, you know, when these feelings pass or when these feelings come or they can also go, at, uh, we can cope because you know, our loved ones are there. We, we have positive coping mechanisms, etc. But uh, in positive in, in in genuine positivity we also acknowledge uh, the fact that when we cannot handle it anymore probably we need help so tayo mismo uh, pwede nating i-model no yung sarili na, kasi a lot of people they don't want to go to mental health professionals why because eh, ikaw nga hindi ka naman pumupunta eh anong i mean ikaw nga parang nahihiya ka sabihin kung kung ano yung nararamdaman mo eh so, uh, yung help-seeking behavior, uh, sana, no, nanonormalize sa atin. Yung, uh, kami usually, no, when we give lectures, what we all say is that we hope for the day that uh, when one goes to a mental health professional, it's just like declaring that I'm going to my dentist. Hindi ba? Pag pumunta na yung dentist, di naman tayo nahihiya magsabi, di ba? So, yun. So, uh, yung genuine positivity acknowledges it when there's a need for intervention already uh, apart from 
yung kung ano lang yung nakakaya natin ganyan kasi hindi na natin kakayanin kung tayo lang. Okay? So there. Yung toxic positivity yung sige, kayanin mo kasi wala namang ano uh, parang um, ikaw lang makaka-solve diyan sa problema mo kasi ang dami ng tao, may sarili silang mga problema. Di ba? Narinig niyo na ba 'yon? Di ba nakakainis? Sana hindi tayo 'yon, ano? Okay. So, mag-practice tayo. Toxic Positivity Quarantine Edition. So, yung genuine positivity gives validation and hope, di ba? So, these are the statements, uh, uh, examples of toxic, positive, toxic positivity statements, no? So, be grateful that you have a roof over your head. Other people have it so much worse than me. Okay. Wow, ha? Huh? O ano yung pwede nating sabihin? This is hard. We can be grateful for what we have and sad for what we don't. So hindi ba? Walang judgment. Parang um, mahirap talaga yung nangyayari ngayon. So kung nakakalungkot talaga, no? nakakalungkot to. Pero hindi mo ginajudge yung sarili mo o kaya pati ibang tao. Una, hindi tayo judge. So wag po tayo judge. <laughs> Uh, pangalawa, ina-acknowledge lang natin dapat kung ano yung nararamdaman ng tao. No? Even tayo mismo, i-acknowledge natin kung ano yung nararamdaman natin. So you're so lucky you don't have to work right now. It's amazing that you get to relax all the time. Okay, so relaxation pala yun. Pero hindi yun relaxation. Tayo ba nakaka-relax tayo? It must be hard to not have work or consistent income. I think people who are working and people who aren't are all struggling in their own way right now. So again, it's acknowledging, it's validating that things are really difficult. You should look for all the good right now. Look at how many people are healthy. Okay. So it's probably pretty hard to be positive right now. I have trouble seeing the good and have to remind myself of it often. Okay. So it's like also yung parang when somebody goes to us, no? And uh, they tell us their concerns. Mind you, no? Yung if if uh, they ask you you can share pero wag mong wag mong i-presenta <laughs> kung hindi ka naman tinatanong pero magandang mapakinggan hindi ba na hindi lang uh, tayo yung nakakaramdam pala ng ganon meron pa lang ibang tao na nakakaramdam din ng ganon so you feel na oh, normal pa rin pala ako so it's it's validating no and then think positive thoughts positivity will get us through this so talaga positivity lang nasa nang grounding Okay, it's never fun to feel this way. Is there something I can do to help? So there's the magic question. It's open-ended. Is there something I can do to help? Or another way of saying is, it, is that um, kung hindi ka ready mag, mag uh, salita ngay, pero alam mo na they're going through something, tell them that uh, I'm here if you're, um, ano to? if you're ready to talk. Okay? So you're so negative. It's just going to make this worse. Be happy as if it's like a uh, switch, no? That you can just turn on and off na gusto ko happy, okay? Tapos sad ako ngayon. So it's pretty normal to feel negative right now. So yeah, just validating. Everything will be normal again. Don't worry. Parang nagpa-promise ka, hindi mo naman magagawa. Kailan? Kailan magiging normal, okay? So this might not be normal for a little while, but we will get there. What we will get there together. So, kasama ka. Okay? Okay. Yan. Now, so, what are some characteristics that enable people to survive and even transcend difficult experiences or difficult moments in their lives? So, some of these are resilience, yan, hope, optimism, uh, all of these bring out positive emotions in us and help us interpret things no, with better perspectives. Pero, paano natin ito mapapalabas, ito mga to? So, dito na tayo mo, no? sa main part ng ating discussion. Through positive emotions. But again, how do we nurture positive emotions so that uh, they become more... It, it's like a, ano for us, parang... Uh, automatic for us, no? Na 
imbes na negative yung reactions, parang magiging uh, mas positive. No? So how do we do that? Okay, so yung positive emotions, it, it's more than just smiling or being happy. Kilala nyo to? Di ba? Yung movie na Inside Out. Kung sana lahat tayo na panood yun, it's actually for mental health. No? Napakaganda niyang uh, movie to explain to us how emotions, whether positive or negative, are valuable to us as human beings. No? So it's more than just smiling. It's more than just saying that you're happy even if you're not. No? There's what we call actually the positivity ratio. Alam niyo ba yung positivity ratio? Baka alam niyo na to. So review na lang. So when you experience more positive emotions than negative ones at a ratio of three positive emotions to every one negative, you can enter into an upward spiral of growth. So this is based on research by Barbara Fredrickson. No? So in other words, uh, tayo, pag naka-experience tayo ng isang uh, hindi magandang situation at the beginning of the day, so ano ba yung usual nyo sa araw-araw, hindi ba yung ako naman, na-late ka ng gising, dapat may meeting kayo ng 7.30 via Zoom, tapos hindi ka nakakising. So, syempre, galit ka na sa lahat kasi parang um, affected na lahat. So, parang domino effect hanggang towards the end of the day, galit ka na. We have to be conscious of that. Okay? So, meron nangyari sa'yo, nag-cause sa'yo ng negative emotions. We have to actively seek, consciously seek, for three positive experience or, or, or um, experience that will give us positive emotions, three positive emotions. It can be the littlest things, no? It can be what? Um, a hug probably from, from your husband or your wife or um, nag-walk the dog ka and you're a pet lover, so um, masaya ka, ganon. Uh, ano pa? Ano pa yung mga positive uh, ex uh, experiences that will bring you positive feelings, hindi ba? Um, even eating your favorite food, comfort food, hindi ba? It, it brings positive emotions in us, hindi ba? So, yun yung pwede natin gawin. No? Kasi, sabi, pag hindi natin kinombat or inaddress yung, uh, yung negative emotions na yun, imbes na mag... mag uh, ano to, yung spiral of growth, pwede kang mag-spiral down. Yung ulit-ulit, ulit, everyday na lang, negative nangyayari, tapos yun, hindi, hindi, hindi na-address, uh, hindi na-neutralize no, ng positive emotions. So, it can probably, it can actually trigger other mental health problems. No? Depression, yun, lagi ka na lang malungkot kasi hindi maganda yung nangyayari, ganyan. So, we have to neutralize our um negative emotions. Again, it's not denying. Alam mo na nandyan. So, kaya nga may gagawin ka para ma-address siya. Hindi ba? Para uh, you can enter into that spiral of growth. Okay. And uh, may mga tao nagsasabi, ano sila, yung negative thinker kasi ako eh. So, ang hirap. You know, the thing with um, learning, no? Yung, yung mga, kasi thinking, learning din, no? The thing with learning is that uh, when you learn something, you can unlearn it. So you can rewire your brain to think of positive things, uh, to, to invest na ang iyong um, automatic switch is negative thinking kaagad. Pwede actually na imbes na yon, ma-interpret mo yung bagay na nangyayari in a positive way. Okay? So yun. Okay, so ways to increase positive emotions Sabi dito, more gratitude, less attitude. Uh, wag na natin isipin muna yung iba. Si ano kasi, may, may, yan ganyan siya, may problema siya, mga attitude yan, etc. Hindi, tayo na lang. Focus on ourselves. Okay? Uh, we've often heard it said, uh, grateful people are the happiest people. Tama? So, we focus on what we have. Uh, yung exercise na clean slate of paper, lagyan mo ng dot sa gitna, subukan mong tingnan ng tingnan yung dot na yon, 
hindi ba parang siya yung nagmamagnify, siya yung lumalaki. Parang ganun din, no? Uh, whatever we focus on, it magnifies in ourselves. Okay? So, i-focus mo sa sarili mo na hindi ka magaling. Ay, malamang. Hindi ba? Yun yung, yun yung talagang mapapaniwalaan mo at ma, ma, ano mo, um, makikita mo totoo sa'yo. You focus on what you have, your strengths, and you be thankful for those strengths. And you'll feel good about yourself. You'll feel more content about yourself. No? Because you're happy. Ang dami na pong mga nagko-complain. So, maging ano naman tayo, grateful. Okay? Okay. Ang isa pang uh, tingnan natin, no? yung way to increase our positive emotions. Uh, we need to focus on the things that we can control or that we, that we have control of. Okay? So what are these things? Ngayon, nakakagalit, no? Uh, sobrang nakakagalit ngayon na parang ang daming hindi nagagawa. Tama ba? Yung... Uh, kahit na ito, nag-share ako ng positive psychology. At times when I hear the news, iisip ko sa sarili ko, ano ba naman? Ayan, dami. Pero what good does it do to us? Anong nagagawang mabuti sa atin noon kung wala naman tayong magagawa dun sa kinakainis natin? So, ang isang exercise na sinishare ko po, ako mismo ginagawa ko, is, um, you know, I write down, I have this circle of control. I write down in the middle, which are the things that I have control over. Diba? So, nakakatakot yan sa mag magkaroon ng COVID-19. So, what do I do? Ano ba yung sinasabi? Tried and tested. Wear mask. Uh, clean the surroundings. Do not go out if it's not essential, etc. Et ano yung outside your control? Yung response ng gobyerno, kontrolado mo ba yun? For, for siguro up to a certain point in time like you can ventilate your your concerns right pero careful tayo may anti terror bill na so pero <laughs> i mean diba yung uh, up to a certain point we have a control of that pero for the most part hindi natin yun kontrolado unless nasa gobyerno ka okay so what are the other things that are outside your control when you list them down makikita mo yun yung mga bagay na nakaka-stress sa iyo so, why will you stress yourself out for something that you cannot do anything about, right? Okay. So, another way to increase positive emotions is learning optimism. Um, sige, sino sa atin yung kapag, uh, kapag sinasabi sa atin, galing mo, o kaya, um, you look good today, sabihin mo. Di naman. <laughs> Bakit sa tingin nyo ganun tayo? Hindi na lang tayo mag-thank you. Hindi ba? Uh, wag na natin gagawin yan. Ha? Dapat, dapat mag-thank you tayo when, you know, when we are uh, told that we're good or we did something good or we look good, etc. But basta uh, compliments. No? Parang hiyang-hiyang tayo sa compliments. Alam niyo kung bakit. These are actually... Um, voices in our heads no hindi naman yung may mental disorder na nakakarinig ng voices no pero uh, a lot of these things no that we don't feel good about are things that have been said to us when we were growing up so sabi natin huwag dapat tinapa ano yung past experiences hindi hindi po ganoon ang uh, gusto ko lang maintindihan natin kung saan ang gagaling probably no yung ating pessimism so marami sa mga ito yun nga yung mga narinig natin uh, nung from the significant people in our lives right it can be our parents it can be our uh, siguro nung medyo mas malaki na tayo significant others ganyan and once these are told to us for whatever reason probably it's their way of um of motivating us or reinforcing us pero siguro hindi hindi lang okay yung paraan nila or that was also the way they were taught no um so for whatever reason hindi maganda yung ating uh, pagtanggap doon sa sa mga sinasabi sa atin na yon and kung ulit-ulit sinasabi sa yo it becomes your reality right so for parents who are listening right now 
Oh, kahit na yung mga nag-aalaga ng mga mga educators, no? Educators din tayo. We have to be very very careful of our words, of the language that we use. Why? Yung mga words na ginagamit na yan, it becomes the reality of the people that we've been talking to, no? It will come to a point when they will believe it, believe that lalo na sa mga bata. So dapat careful tayo. The good thing is Alam na natin yan ngayon. So, we are now, what, mature adults. So, if there is something that we learn, just, just like what I said earlier, we can unlearn that and i-challenge natin yung negative self-talks na yon. Pag sinabi sa yung kulang ka, hindi pa, kulang pa itong ginawa mo, hindi pa ito uh, sapat, ganyan. No, you can tell yourself, okay, I will do better, but I am enough. No? You change that negative self-talk. At first, you know, it will it will sound corny or it will sound unrealistic. But as you move along, as you go along, maniniwala at maniniwala ka sa sarili mo. Ako at the beginning of the day, ewan ko kung na-share ko na sa inyo or yung ibang nakapakinig na sa inyo sa akin before. At the beginning of the day, I tell myself, um, I am beautiful inside out. I am at peace with myself and with others. I am mentally healthy. So those are my mantra. No? Ikaw, ano yung mantra mo? Mag-isip ka lang kung ano yung mantra mo na positive at yun ang sasabihin at sasabihin mo. At first, parang oh, hindi naman totoo yun. Kasi there are days when you don't feel good about yourself. right? But do it anyway. Say it anyway. Baka walang iba magsabi sa'yo. Umpisahan mo na. Ang maganda kasi... You know, the way we treat ourselves, uh, the way others treat us actually is a mirror of how we treat ourselves. If you show others that you're confident or that you love yourself, other people will love you, will, will, will show that they respect you because you have, you have such high respect for yourself. For yourself, okay? Iba naman yung mayabang, no? Ibang issue yun, saka na natin yung pag-uusapan. Pero ito, learning optimism. Okay, so negative self-talk challenge that. How else? Humor and laughter. Ayan. So scientifically proven po itong mga to. No? Laughter reduces the level of stress hormones like cortisol, epinephrine, and adrenaline. So yung mga stress hormones na ito, okay lang yan sa extreme situations, right? Uh, para alam mo yung... Uh, kung ano yung gagawin mo kaagad, nagiging quick ka kapag, or nagiging malakas ka because of these um, hormones, no stress hormones. But imagine if every day of the week ang stress hormones mo napakatataas, hindi ba? Uh, nakakapagod yan physically. It will drain you out, my God. Uh, it, it will make you sick. Okay? So laughter reduces that level, the level of your, your stress hormones. It also increases the level of health enhancing hormones like endorphins. Uh, so yung, yung uh, equivalent nito, yung binibigay na morphine, di ba? Sa mga, those who are in extreme pain, our body has a natural way of producing this, no? yung nga yung endorphins. It, laughter increases that, that, uh, the level of endorphins in our body. And Humor may increase our body's immunity. So, mas, na, mas, mas may uh, uh, panlaban tayo sa sakit. Mas immune tayo. So, let's do not take ourselves too seriously. I remember this one time, parang, nung una, parang feeling ko embarrassed na embarrassed ako. Pero, come to think of it, when I was sharing it with, with people already, I think I shared it on Facebook, uh, I was laughing actually at myself. Um, uh, I was driving po, tapos nag-stop dahil parang magle-left ako, so yung, yung kabila muna, etc. Kapag nag-drive ako mag-isa, kumakanta ako ng malakas. Isa yan sa stress reliever ko. So I was really um, singing out loud at the top of my voice. Anyway, wala man nakakarinig, di ba? So, uh, ang song no, natatandaan ko yung uh, sa Lay Miserab, On My Own, o di ba? Tas noon, yung katabing sasakyan na driver, na-realize ko nung napatingin ako, nakatingin siya sa akin. Tapos parang, <laughs> ko alam, parang pinagtatawanan ba niya ako. So una parang feeling ko na mula ko at napahiya ako. Pero, uh, well, di naman niya ako kalala. 
At pangalawa, di naman niya ako naririnig kung gano'ng kaganda yung boses ko. So, yung part na yata yun ng I love him but ano to? Yung only on my mind. Yung gano'n. Tapos, I sped off. Kasi, pwede na ako eh. Hindi niya na ako matatandaan. So, when I was sharing that, I was so... Uh, ako, y- ako yung natatawa talaga. Pero, you know, things like that, in in the little things, find you more. Do not take yourselves too seriously. Minsan kasi parang tayo hindi natin ma, ma, mapatawad yung sarili natin sa mga minsan palpak natin. Matuto tayo dun sa palpak. Pero, you know, minsan maganda rin na makita natin yung natuto tayo doon sa doon sa nangyari at may ginawa tayo doon sa nangyari at tinawanan natin yung sarili natin no and we had fun okay okay so this one i cannot overemphasize enough taking care of your physical health we are what we eat okay so kung puro junk food kinakain mo ay malamang yung moods mo ganyan din uh, medyo junky din yung yung moods mo no um yung mental health natin affected din po. Remember, kung puro mga kung ano-ano yung kinakain natin, artificial sugars, yan, ano pa, lessen your intake of, of caffeine. Ako, alam ko, maraming tatamaan. Yung iba, sinasabi, mga three cups a day, okay na raw yun. Uh, maximum effect na yun sa atin. More than that, uh, uh, baka magka-effect na rin, kung, lalo na kung everyday natin ginagawa or tinitake yun, no? Um, mga yung soda ganyan uh, ano pa um, yung mga artificial flavorings yan iiwasan natin yan so these are the things no uh, nutritious foods exercise no? ngayon very limited yung ating uh, mobility pero i think meron na ring may mga inaallow na rin no ng mga sports maybe we can engage in that my kids they go biking uh, pero nakukulitan na sila sa akin kasi <clears throat> pinapagmask ko sila. Na hindi nga pwede magmask kasi nag exercise naman at malayo sa Okay, so be it. Basta take care of ourselves. And our sleep is very important. Okay? Uh, isang medyo ticklish dito yung sa sleep. Kasi hindi ba tayo, meron tayong minsan guilty ako, FOMO, fear of missing out. It's when we're about to sleep that we check on our phone, social networking uh, sites, and, you know, parang minsan, uh, nare-realize mo, oops, hating gabi na pala. Di ba? So, yun, yun yung mga bagay na dapat nating uh, medyo iwasan. Kasi, yung, ano to, ah, uh, yung melatonin natin affected no kaya hindi tayo makatulog dahil na-stimulate siya ng nung light no ng blue light na tinatawag natin okay so medyo yung oras lang siguro no oras ng pag-check ng screen and besides uh, it's been known really that checking often no even yung sa mainstream media or sa sa phones natin checking for information it also causes uh, anxiety in us so limit your parang kumbaga limit your intake of of uh, unnatural food or artificial food eto rin limit niyo rin yung time na. okay Another way to increase positive emotions, relationships. Pardon me for the graphic, no? Relationships need not just be romantic relationships. It can be relationship with, with uh, your kids, your um, parents, your siblings. Basta positive relationships, you know? Uh, in as much as there's a, a um, ratio, positivity, positivity ratio in in uh us, no, as individuals, one is to three. Meron ding positivity re- uh, ratio in relationships, and that's one is to five. So, sa bawat isang negative na experience na nangyari sa yo with your loved one, dapat may limang kapalit na positive actively you're seeking, no, for that um, positive experience or positive emotion. Kahit na visit ka sa kanya, isipan mo ano yung mga magaganda na ginawa niya, even the littlest things, no. Okay. Uh, Ano na to? Cliché. No man is an island. Hindi ba totoo naman po ang sarap sa pakiramdam yung merong nagmamahal sa atin at minamahal natin in return? Right? Uh, 
I have actually a a book here, Mitch Album. Ewan ko, baligtad yung atang nakikita ngayon. Ito, si Mitch Album, one of my favorite authors. He's uh, the author of uh, Tuesdays with Maury. Dito sa book na to, I suggest you read it. Um, sabi ng main character, what's on the other side of commit? Ano, uh, hindi main character. Yung isang character, what's on the other side of commitment? They're talking of relationship, no? Sabi ni main character, a happiness you cannot find alone. Diba? Ang ganda. Happiness shared is happiness squared. Okay. Another way is to um, uh, to increase positive emotions is meaning. No? Finding meaning in what we do. Finding meaning in what we experience. So ano yung, how, how do we find meaning? Sabi uh, si Victor Frankl naman ang sabi niya. Uh, we find meaning by um, first loving fully, no? Di ba? Yung experiencing things fully, no? Uh, ano yung mga bagay or engaging in something that uh, we enjoy so much? Ano yung mga bagay na yon na uh, gustong gusto mong ginagawa? It gives meaning to your life, right? It makes you wake up in the morning and say, I'm going to do that today. Huh? Parang para kanino ka gumigising. So it's important. Tapos yun nga, yung uh, uh, ano pa yung experiences na yun. No? Yung being in a place that uh, uh, makes us experience the wonders of nature and uh, the beauty of, of God's creation, right? Um, ano pa? Yung actually, spirituality gusto kong ipasok dito eh. Yung yung meaning no that we attach to the things that we experience uh yung pag may component ng faith that this is not just something that is um uh incidental it's part of the bigger purpose um it becomes more meaningful for us right when it's attached to our faith uh yun. Ito, kanina nabanggit ni Mr. Mr. Francis, no, yung thesis ko po uh, for MA, yung spirituality and counseling. Isa yun sa nakita kong component, actually, ng uh, meaning, no, for some people, for most, I think, 80% of my respondents, both counselors and students. Uh, spirituality gives meaning to their lives. Okay? So, as counselors, baka it's something that uh, we can also think about. Okay, so a positive attitude causes a chain reaction of positive thoughts, events, and outcomes. It is a catalyst and it sparks extraordinary results. Anong oras na po? 11.34. Medyo late man tayo start So may siguro uh, mga 10 minutes pa. No? I want to share with you a uh, resource no, from WHO. Uh, this is a well-being diary. Uh, I can share with you the link or or send it to to the secretariat so they can send it to you. I ask permission. Anyway, it's it's there, no? Talagang open naman po to all. Uh, ano tong well-being diary na to? Ganito lang po yung itsura niya. Are you able to see it? Nakikita niyo po ba? So this is a 14 day well being diary. It's specifically for ano talaga no for this uh time no of COVID-19. Uh okay, this 14 day well being diary provides you with some daily activities as reference to make you your everyday life. Okay. So para siyang calendar, it's based on the seven wellness principles. Ito yun, no? Yung seven wellness principles. And basically what you do here is that you just fill it up. No? So there are um, examples of daily activities, setting small goals, uh, being aware of your thoughts and feelings, uh, ayan, getting your body moving. Ang tip po, if you want to type directly on this e-document, kasi medyo interactive siya, no? Uh, hindi mo na kailangang ilipat. If you want to type directly on this e-document, please save this document onto your computer or phone first before making any edits. Otherwise, the changes you have made may disappear. So, example, my day one, bawa bukas sa umpisahan ng ito, my feelings are uh, overwhelmed. Okay. So, parang ganun lang. Dokaro. Yes. 
Can you see it? Uh, hindi. Hindi, hindi. Uh, I-stop mo muna yung siguro yung uh, share screen mo po na PowerPoint. Yung slides okay. then. Okay. Then reshare again the, the other, yung isang window. Oh, okay, okay. Sige, sige. Thank you for the tip. Hindi siya nakikita? Hindi. Ah, uh, okay. Anyway, okay lang ba? Baka wala na tayong oras. I can just share it with them. Uh, I-send na lang natin. Okay, okay. Ba, Sir Francis? Okay, okay. Yes, sige. Po, yes po, sure. Okay, so we're on our last few slides, no? Mm, yan ang question ko ngayon sa inyo. So ano ngayon ang gusto natin? Positive or negative? Meron na tayong mga tips, di ba? You have a choice, but like what we said earlier, di ba? Meron naman po tayong choice. At meron tayong mga paraan kung paano na, ma, natin matatayuan yung choice na yon. Okay, example. Kanina pinakita ko to sa inyo, hindi ba? We can either choose to focus on this, the number of cases, 57, oh my God, 57,000 na nakakatakot. Eh, alam naman na natin yan talaga. Or, focus on the positive aspect, like people who recovered. So, mas na natin siya. Okay? Again, it's not denying the fact that COVID exists. And it's still lethal, but it's the fact that yung positive aspect naman nun, meron din marami actually ang nakaka-recover. Okay. okay, so, ano pa yung aking hindi na? Okay, ah, okay. so ito na lang pala. Uh, last three slides. What do you see? Ano yung nakikita natin dito? This is a... Hindi ko makikita yung comments nyo. Pero usually, ang nakukuha kong, uh, nakukuha kong, what do you call this, uh, reaction dito. Half full, half empty, yun. Uh, actually, ang drama ko po dito. <laughs> Pag hawak mo tong baso na to, for a minute, you know, it, it, it has no effect on you, right? Alam mo lang na nandyan, tinitingnan mo, uh, oo, half full siya, or oo, half empty siya, pero uh, hindi siya nakaka-bother sa'yo masyado. Pero alam mo kung ano yung hinahawakan mo. You're aware of it. Hold it for an hour, medyo nakakangalay na yan. Diba? Hold it for a day, oh my God, what are you doing to yourself? Pinapahirapan mo yung sarili mo. Hold it for a week, ayun na, talagang um, something's not right. Why are you holding to it, diba? Doing that to yourself, dear. Okay? So, that's also how we are with how we perceive things, especially our difficulties. Oo, aware tayo na nandyan yung difficulty. Pero yun nga, sabi natin, is it within our circle of control? If we can do something about it, okay, let's do it. If we can't do anything about it, then don't hold on to it. You cannot do anything about it anyway, right? So let go. We have to let go of those things, no? Okay. So in the end, I just would like to remind everyone, uh, let's be hopeful despite the odds. Let's be grateful despite the lack. Let's be loving at all costs. And... Let's be positive. <laughs> so with that, I'd like to thank you, everyone. Um, maraming salamat po sa pakikinig at sana ay may natutunan tayo kahit paano no? dun sa ating sharing for this morning. So thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, here are my references. Sometimes. Ayan. Hello? Are you still there? Did I make you sleep? <laughs> I'll stop sharing. Nag stop sharing na ba ako? Uh, yes, doc. Please share lang po uh, again. I'm sorry? Share? Yes po. Uh, okay, share lang ulit. Here. Okay.
this part or which part would you like me to share? Uh, okay, so uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Dr. Caro, for uh, this uh, uh, wonderful presentation. Uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, we reached about uh, 5,000 to 5,100 viewers at the peak. Wow. Uh, uh, pero siguro mm -hmm. the... the um, uh, the statistics for for this whole morning would go around uh, uh, more than ten thousand viewers, and uh, uh, hindi pa yan uh, na wow. nabilang. Uh, we'll watch uh, later, po. Okay, so uh, sige, before we <laughs> proceed uh, with you. your ano uh, with question and answer, sige. Uh, uh, I will stop uh, your share screen na uh, doka. Okay. Okay, Sige. stop share. Okay, na, okay, na. Sige. Uh, so, uh, as you have mentioned, Kanina Doc, we have, uh, or you have sent uh, uh, research, uh, what they call this one, a questionnaire. So, the, uh, to our participants. All uh, right. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> there will oh, be oh. questionnaires together with the evaluation. Uh, oh, for oh. Our yeah. Uh, well, I, I just want to say a little something about it. PMHA, sure, sure. can I, I sorry, uh, yeah. Uh, PMHA is uh, conducting a, a survey on coping, no? coping uh, resilience of um, people amidst the pandemic. And uh, since I was told that meron kayong parang 10,000 registrants na dito, I deemed it best that uh, we also make one for counselors and this will help us in in uh, creating programs for you. Uh, we hope that PMHA and PGC. I am encouraging you to please uh, answer. No, wala naman pressure. Pero answer the uh, please answer the survey. But auto ano naman po ata siya auto submit no. So it's online. Uh, pagka sagot nyo, uh, automatic naman siya na masasubmit. So, I'm willing to share the results with you or in any forum. Probably in the future, no? um, we can we can share the results with you. Yeah, para rin siguro, it will also have um, siguro an impact on the programs that you will create uh, or your, kung, kung nasa school setting kayo, your um authorities no can create for you or for the educators for, for the teachers yeah and for the students so thank you very much Parang, uh, nandun ba yung link sir uh, ah yeah, yeah 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 uh, link sa kanila so yun. yes Sana po uh, kayo. okay yes uh, that would be part of our uh, post test and evaluation pa uh, dr Carol. hala meron pa lang post test <laughs> yes oh my <laughs> god <laughs> <laughs> Para sa CTV okay. po ito. Uh -oh. Yes po, yes po. Uh -oh. uh, so, okay. Si pa talaga ng mga uh, PGCA na to. Gustong-gusto <laughs> 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 niyo pinapahirapan yung sarili niyo sa dami ng trabaho. <laughs> <laughs> for the service ano of yes, yes, yeah. yes, for the service uh, for of counselors, counselors yan. Yes. Salamat. Hats off uh, to you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, Dr. Cara. Uh, now, siguro at this time, we will uh, uh, try to entertain uh, some questions sent uh, by our uh, yep. mm -hmm. uh, participants. Uh, so aside from asking the presentation, <laughs> <laughs> I think I which... prepared a handout format yes. for this. So uh, I'll just check and say, uh, the, the last time I did this, meron akong prepare na ganun. Pero uh, dahil may mga in ako na concepts, I will revise and then we'll send to PGCA hopefully um, before the end of the week. Can we do that? Okay lang ba yun? Uh, sure, sure po. Sure, uh, Dokara. Sige. Uh -huh. 
Sige. Now, uh, for some questions, sige, I'll read uh, first. Uh, there is uh, this question. Uh, is reverse psychology a toxic or genuine passive positivity? Yung reverse psychology ba uh, na usual na ginagawa natin or yung mm -mm. binabrand? Yes. Oo. Good question. Um, actually, depende siguro sa konteksto. Parang inisip ko, kasi ako, I also do reverse psychology sometimes uh, sa mga anak ko. <laughs> Guilty. Pero uh, tingin ko yun nga, no? depende sa konteksto, appropriateness to the situation. Because if it's something that hindi naman nakaka, um, nakakasama sa pakiramdam nung kausap natin, or sa atin mismo, no? yung siguro your... Uh, your uh ano to parang you're using it no uh for yourself nasa atin kasi yun eh parang kung okay lang uh, sa atin na uh, gamitin natin yun and it propels us to do something uh, tingin ko okay lang but as with anything kung laging ganun yung ginagawa mo and you're not addressing the the issue medyo hindi maganda kasi Dadating at dadating sa point that you will have to um, to address the concern. Otherwise, it will become a bigger concern. So I hope I answered the question. As I said, if there are inputs from the audience, I will very much appreciate also. Uh, yes, so, uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Carol. Uh, now, for our, again, for our participants, please be reminded that... Uh, the post uh, evaluation link will be uh, posted in the PGCA official Facebook page. Again, uh, uh, it will be posted there. Pag may nakita po kayong uh, uh, certificate, uh, sample ng certificate na you will be receiving, uh, hanapin nyo lang po yung link doon for our uh, evaluation and post test. Okay. Another question, uh, uh, Doc Carol, I think maganda din to. Which is worse now? Uh, is it the toxic positivity or toxic humility? <laughs> Depende kung ako. Uh, what's the purpose of the toxic humility? Yung parang uh, hindi naman False humility, yun yung sinasabi dito. Uh, <laughs> kasi, um, kung ganun tayo lagi, no, I think, Okay. Uh, while we are waiting for uh, uh, Doc Carlo, Okay, ayan na siya. Uh, again, let me remind po our participants. Again, the post uh, the post test and evaluation link will be uh, posted po sa ating uh, uh, PGCA official Facebook page. And uh, okay. Hello. Okay. Yes, yeah. go ahead, Dr. Cara. Okay, sorry na wala ako for some time. Anyway, like uh, I, I was saying, yung, um, yung toxic humility, I would like to think yun yung ginagawa natin sa sarili natin, no? yung parang, uh, ano yun, yung you diminutize your, your uh, capacity, your ability, your, the good things that you do uh, when people tell you that... Uh, you know, you're good at something, parang hindi mo matanggap. Yun yung, tingin ko ha, uh, yun yung sinasabi na toxic humility. The other thing naman is uh, yung toxic positivity nga yung parang sobra, para lahat maganda, lahat uh, dapat hindi natisip yung pangit, ganyan. I think both are are Una, hindi natin nire-recognize uh, yung mga bagay as they are or the people as they are. Uh, we don't validate feelings, no? Uh, 
kahit gustong gusto na nating tanggapin yung compliments parang uh, ayaw pa natin for fear probably of being judged as uh, yabang naman yan ganyan so i i don't think uh, uh, maganda siya pareho so pareho siyang hindi maganda for us and for other people who deal with us Okay. Thank you very much uh, for that, uh, Doc Carol. Siguro. We will just entertain uh, last two questions. Uh, I've seen uh, or ito uh, comment siguro. So I think somehow uh, this is from Richelle Capuno. I think somehow the people in our surround in our surroundings may uh, makes uh, or may, made a big impact. Uh, in our mental health because not all people are open-minded about this topic. Most of them are in toxic passivi uh, positivity because they do. Uh, that's a comment. Uh, and I would like to relate that to a question, how to handle po uh, yung ating uh, uh, toxic uh, uh, people or toxic surroundings especially when it comes to social media na and daming negative na posts how how do we deal with those nega, okay. uh nega oh, na, I, na I, post? I, I okay sige i i lost some parts of of the question para medyo nag uh, nagkaroon ng disruption sir pero tama ba yung pagkaintindi ko yung uh I think I heard that some people are not open, uh, hey. negative yung ano nila. Okay, so dito papasok yung ano natin, yung uh, what's within our circle of control, niba? Um, kung talagang hindi natin, uh, kung talagang gusto natin no, na i-control yung consumption natin ng information from social media or mainstream media or even people around us, Pwede naman nating gawin yun. Uh, like yun nga, lessening your time on it. And then doon naman sa mga tao na talagang kasama mo na, um, halimbawa sa bahay, no? yung, uh, ngayon talagang siguro 24-7, halos lahat magkakasama sa bahay. Um, alam kong mahirap gawin, pero ang talagang may control ka lang, walang iba kundi sarili mo eh. So, they can always say negative things. They can always tell you things that you will not like. But uh, you just have to learn how to in insulate yourself from all of those things. And uh, the one that you have control over is your reaction to that. So, away lang mangyayari kapag nag-rebattle ka or yung negative, sasabihan mo rin ng negative, uh, wala nang katapusan niyo. So try the positive inputs and um di ba kapag inaway ka tapos ikaw kalmado parang mapapahiya pa siya actually di ba so uh, ganun na lang yung iano natin i gagawin natin i know it's easier said than done but it can be done Okay, so thank you for that, uh, Doc Carol. So in behalf of the Philippine Guidance and Counseling Association, we would like to express our gratitude and appreciation uh, for your time and expertise uh, uh, in sharing uh, the, the topic. Thank you also. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, uh, that uh, managing uh, positive, uh, positivity. Uh, uh, amidst this uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So the PGSA uh, also looks forward for a more collaboration and partnership, especially with the Philippine Mental Health Association. Thank you very yeah. much, uh, uh, Doc Carol. Thank you. Thank you okay. so much. Bye, Ms. Okay. Ruth. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay, so for our participants, a uh, few reminders lang po before we end this uh, uh, webinar. So please answer your post-test and evaluation. Uh, however, for this uh, webinar, uh, mag-open po yung ating link by 12 noon and it will end by 1 o'clock. So hindi, hindi siya for now 45 minutes, rather 1 hour. Uh, for our e-certificates, uh, Again, we would like to ask your uh, uh, understanding 
uh, please bear with us as we send your e-certificates. We are dealing with thousands of uh, the of these e-certificates. Okay, so please give us time to send it po sa inyo. If you have concerns po with your certificates, again, please email po the PG sa e-certificate at gmail dot com. Okay, so uh, we would like also to thank ang ating um, uh, uh, we would like to thank yung mga tao behind uh, this uh, webinar. So, of course, the support of our uh, board of directors and the national officers led by uh, uh, Dr. Adelaida Hines, our president, with all the chapter presidents. Uh, uh, as of now, we don't have uh, with us our PR board members because uh, they are or they have attended the session sa... House of Representatives. Okay, uh, we would like also to thank the FEU peers, yung, uh, F, uh, yung peer facilitators natin uh, for the design uh, sa ating webinar. Then of course, uh, yung secretary team natin, uh, Sir Dan Talusan, ang ating secretary. Uh, Ma'am MC Garcia, Assistant Secretary natin. Then our PGSA staff, Juvi and Leon and Vince Asarcon. Then of course our volunteer, Justin uh, Joyce Bual. So uh, uh, yung sending also of certificates, we would like to thank your ang ating TAMS, or FEU uh, guidance team. Okay? So uh, ito po yung ating uh, webinar series for this uh, July. Please take note of that. Uh, right now, or we have just ended the uh, maintaining posit uh, positivity amidst COVID-19. So join us again on July 24 with uh, Dr. Letty Ho and uh, on uh, July 26 uh, with Jet Gwen Consejo. Okay, so ito na po yung natapos natin. Okay, and so with that, uh, again, maraming salamat po. If you have stories, uh, if you have concerns involving our presentations or webinars or ang advocacy po natin, please do uh, connect with us uh, or email us at uh, pgsa.socmed at gmail.com. You can also reach us to our three uh, social media uh, accounts. And of course, please join us with our advocacy to maintain a good practice, ethical, and of course, uh, uh, the mental health services and career services for everyone. So one big fight for counselors. So with that, thank you and 